डियर फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी न्यू ईयर सो फाइनली आई डोंट क्लोज डाउन द चैनल आई एम हियर सिटिंग इन माई ऑफिस आई रेड आर लॉर्ड ऑफ योर कॉमेंट्स बिलो माई लास्ट वीडियो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट आई कूड बी ऑफ हेल्प टू मैनी ऑन मैनी ऑफ यू एंड आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर सो मच ऑफ लव अफेक्शन सो मच ऑफ ट्रस्ट बीन शावर्ड ऑन मी एंड आई होप दैट आई वुड बी एबल टू मेनटेन दैट फॉर यू द वॉट आई डिड विद दिस ट्रोलिंग तो एज आई स्पोक टू यू द ट्रोलिंग कंटिन्यूड ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉमेंट देन आई रियलाइज द सिंपल थिंग इज टू क्लोज डाउन जस्ट टू रिमूव दैट पर्टिकुलर यू नो कॉमेंट और एंड नॉट मेक एनी फर्दर कॉमेंट्स ऑन एनी थिंग one might say okay that that you they okay then this is one way your voice gets stifled because you remove your com you not know, as a simple comment i said then i realized that at the end my job is to disseminate the ideas of mathematics ideas of science so i do not need to waste time fighting these people it takes your energy away so somebody told me that he is very angry to see me getting angry on a troll actually there was not only one troll the only the i had mentioned about one troll there were many people who were trolling me at that jo i i i had no uh, idea that people would be so upset if i had praised somebody so anyway so let us forget that incident and let's move ahead Today it's very cold here in Kanpur as you know it must be all over the news that Uttar Pradesh is having a very bad cold wave so I'm sure all of you are fine in this wintry time I wanted to start a section on what is how do we popularize mathematics and who is one of the most celebrated popularizers of mathematics professor Ian Stewart who is professor emeritus at the Warwick University in England war people Uh, you know pronounce it as warwick because it is written as w a r w i c but the british would just say w is silent the middle w warwick so he is a man who started his life in group theory in galois theory rather in algebra and went on to do complex di dynamical systems and he is one of the best popularizers of mathematics so once i think it is i do not just just let me tell you which year I will just. I think in a, maybe in 2011, yeah, 2011. Yeah, I was flying to Barcelona for the 68th birthday of my postdoctoral supervisor, Juan, Professor Juan Enrique Martinez Lega, and uh, he uh, actually uh, always welcomes me at his own home in Barcelona. so i just went to the uh, while in the delhi airport there was new terminal 3 terminal 3 had just come in 2010 so i just found two books by professor ian stewart and i had never read stewart i had read one seen one or two books but never gave that them a serious thought but this was my real buy the first buy called professor stewart's hoard of mathematical treasures and the second book also i bought the same day professor Stewart's cabinet of mathematical curiosity, and he won't believe me in this long flight first to Frankfurt and then to Barcelona. The first eight hours and eight and a half hours of uh, flight flight to Frankfurt, I didn't realize that the flight time was over because I was just reading this book. So this book is not just stories only without any mathematical symbols. It's full of mathematical symbols. It is a book. for people to enjoy mathematics especially those who are in mathematics and those who are in different aspects of science but not in mathematics for example there are little stories about mathematicians which we do not really know for example there is a story of erdas uh, so here he writes that there is a story so it is a piece of pieces of mathematical stories so it's just beautiful it is a collection of from his diary which he has put in So here is a story which I'll just read it to you as a kind of a new New Year reading. The man who loved only numbers. There is a book by this name also on Paul Erdős. The brilliant Hungarian mathematician Paul Erdős was distinctively 
eccentric. He never held a formal academic position and he never owned a house. Instead, he traveled the world living for short period with his colleagues and friends. He published more collaborative papers than anyone else before or since. He knew the phone numbers of many mathematicians by heart and would phone them anywhere in the world ignoring local time. That I have heard from John Borwin that he would actually mistook him as his Borwin's bro own brother, Peter Borwin, and he would call up jo uh, Professor Jonathan Borwin at the meet of at 1 a.m. in the morning and ask him, oh, do you remember this problem kind of thing. But he could never remember anyone's first name except for Tom Trotter, whom he always addressed as Bill. One day, Herodotus met a mathematician. Where are you from? He inquired. The other mathematician said, from Vancouver. Oh, really? At the first. Then you must know my friend Elliot Mendelssohn. Then there was a pause. I am your friend Elliot Mendelssohn. So, in fact, this book, for example, this one, this one has stories about the Riemann hypothesis. It explains the Riemann hypothesis. A lot, lot of, you will learn a lot about mathematics just by reading this book. You will read a lot, lot, lot about pi by reading this book. You will read a lot about, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, graph theory by reading this book. So many things. You learn a lot of algebra by reading this book. So the, there is a third volume also I'll speak. So these two books are a must if you really love mathematics. Those who call themselves math enthusiasts and have some mathematical maturity, Professor Stewart's Hoard of Mathematical Treasures and Professor Stewart's Cabinet of Mathematical Curiosity is a must. And so, I close down for today in this wintry afternoon and wish that you have a good time. Thank you. All the best.